Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about how to store objects in your local storage with JavaScript. So, if you don't know, local storage is basically a method of storing key value pairs of information within your web browser and this data is persistent. If you close the browser or refresh the page, the data will actually stay there. So, um, by default and the limitation of local storage is that you can only store strings. So you can't even store numbers or booleans, you can only store data as a string. Now what you can do is actually work around this and express your object as a string and then store it like that. But first I want to show you how to actually store or sorry, what happens when you store an object in local storage um, you know normally. So inside uh, your editor here what I'll do is I'm just gonna make a new object literal something basic something like all right we'll say let's my object okay equal to an object with let's just say two um, two basic properties we'll have name and we'll set that to something like Dominic and then age as 56 all right so a basic object with two properties now if I was to go down here and add this my object uh, object to the local storage we'll see what happens so I'm just gonna say local storage all right dot set item okay and I pass in the key we'll just call this key something like um, let's just actually let's call it my object the same thing right so my obj all right and the value will be that my object uh, variable here okay so now if I just console.log the local storage object we'll see what happens so I'll save this and refresh the browser all right and we get that right there so we get this it sort of worked we've got the my object key but the value is object object so that right there isn't the actual object if I was to um, go inside here and say okay local storage dot get item and pass in the my object key all right we get the same thing if I was to just say access the name property right we get undefined so the object isn't actually being stored instead we're getting this useless string all right so how do you actually store an object it's actually quite straightforward we need to represent the object as a string that's because obviously local storage only accepts string so we have to actually convert it to a string somehow this is called serialization so what we're gonna do is make a new variable for this object and this will be the string representation of this object so we'll say let's my object all right and we'll just say serialized so serialized means converting it into some form of um, uh, re-readable data, if that makes sense. So my object serialized equals, and we're going to use the JSON.stringify method. So we're going to use JSON to serialize this object and represent it as a string. So we'll say JSON.stringify, that method right there, and we're going to pass in my object. All right. So now, if I was to log out my obj serialized, we'll see what happens. So I'll save this one, refresh the page, and here we get that right there, and that is the string representation of the object. So that right there is okay to store in local storage. So back inside here, we can now instead of storing my obj we're gonna store my obj serialized okay something like that now save this one and refresh we get here my obj equal to that so that's all there is we're halfway there now to actually get that object and start using it like normal we can do a similar thing we're going to reverse that effect, okay? So, get rid of that, 
And down here, we'll make a new uh, variable and we'll call this one my opt deserialized. Uh, that will work, but maybe something like my opt um, converted back to normal. So I will keep it. Um, we'll we'll keep deserialized. Okay. So my object deserialized equals local storage dot get item. All right. We're going to get this my opt. However. We need to actually convert this back into an actual object. Right now, it's a string. So, we can use the opposite of JSON stringify and we'll use instead JSON.pass. Okay? So, that one right there, JSON.pass, is going to convert this string back into an object. So, now we have, boom, that one back. So, if I was to log out uh, my object deserialized, this time we should get basically that right there. So we'll save this one and refresh the page and what do we get? Boom, right there, a normal JavaScript object. Alright, so I recommend that you actually in your projects maybe um, make a few keys, so something like, I don't know, app settings or user settings, make a few keys and then store larger objects inside those as serialized information. Then you just simply obviously just um, convert that back into their form whenever you load the page. Right, so that is how you can use uh, JSON.stringify or you know serialization to store objects inside local storage. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.